what was a word that began with G that we used to apply to the negative feelings that people experienced who'd done evil? Catholics used mm, to do it a bit. Guilt. Guilt. A little bit. We used yeah. to have these great. We used to have these great words for moral states. Wonderful. I remember I interviewed <laughs> Thomas Sass a while back ago before he died, and we were talking about Jared Loner, I think it was, and uh, I said because I was still in the Matrix as far as this stuff went, and I talked about oh the mental health issues. And this is what's wrong with just calling him a murderer? You know, we used to have these great old words for things which kind of came from the free market. They didn't come from pharmacies. They didn't come from psychiatrists. They didn't come from social workers or mental health workers. They came from an understanding that to do evil is to suffer emotionally. I mean, there was a whole play called Macbeth about this. Macbeth murders the king and then he can't sleep and he goes mad because his guilt consumes him. And his wife, who appears to be quite down with it, ends up being unable to wash the king's blood off her hands while she sleepwalks in a truly terrifying scene. I played Macbeth, so I know the, <laughs> know the play quite well. We used to have these great words for people who did evil and felt bad about it. It was called guilt. But now, oh, well, they suffer from depression, anxiety. And I don't know, I, you know, we've got this kind of medicalized model, you know, and I, I think that some of it is what used to be called a spiritual sickness or a disease of the conscience. And the cure, the cure was quite clear in the past. It wasn't electricity. It wasn't SSRIs. It wasn't psychotropic medication. It wasn't even therapy. Do you know what the cure for guilt was in the past? Just pay it off, right? What does that mean? Pay what off? Taxation? Of no. The cure for guilt was confession. You gotta, you gotta read your Dostoevsky, man. <laughs> You've got to read Crime and Punishment. The cure for guilt is confession. Because confession is, I did it. I am responsible. I harmed you. You were not to blame. I did wrong. And those are the facts. And this is my emotional experience of having tortured my children, or beaten my wife, or abused my husband, or hit my sister, or murdered a cat. Confession was the cure for guilt and guilt was the result of evil actions, particularly against the innocent. And it's not exactly like religion is the free market, but it sure isn't a government. And that was even in secular literature. You do evil, you feel guilt. And the cure for guilt is confession. And if you do not confess, but rather avoid and defend, you are only continuing the evil that you started with. You are continuing to harm the people you harmed originally. And the degree to which you avoid confession and continue to bully other people, say with suicide attempts, is the degree to which you will continue to suffer and there will be no cure save death except for confession an acknowledgement of the evil that was done an ownership of the evil that was done because that carries with it the explicit or implicit absolution of the innocent do you see what i'm saying mm 